Okay guys, I found a different tool we can use to uh, texture the wood. This is for automotive and everything. I've used this on my car before to strip paint off and everything. And I fastened my board down on my table saw here and use this to keep it from sliding. I don't know if you can see it here but it gives just enough texture on the wood. I mean, I, I think I like it a little bit better than I do the wire brush. So let's take this piece and stain it then. Okay guys, I found some new stain. It's Rusty Oleum Ultimate Wood Stain, it's Kona. It dries in one hour. And after that one hour, we can spray it with a clear sealer or anything so i mean i love the men wax but you know you have to wait several hours before you can do that and uh, i've tried this right here on already on something and now and now i love it and uh, i don't even have to i even have to pre-stain it because it seems to it seems to do good without it now, there might be certain pines that you would have to pre-stain. And I guess it's according to the look that you want. But all we do is brush this on. You can see it kind of already start drying. You don't want to let it dry completely without wiping it off. I'm just using paper towels on it. And if you want to, you can use rags. But, uh, I find the paper towels more economical to me. Then you just have to let it set and dry for about an hour. So let me get the rest of these wiped off and uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, this is what the stain looks like after it's dry and everything. If you can, I, don't, I hope you can see it. It's got this nice texture to it. And I love the this rusty oleum uh, Kona stain. Um, I like the brown texture to it and everything. I think I like it better than the dark walnut now. So, let's go carve something out of it. Okay, I've done the texture and everything. I've done it with a quarter inch ball nose. Now I'm gonna put it in a 90 degree V bit and we're gonna go around the lettering. Okay, now that we got the V carved done, I changed out, put a quarter inch end mill in there, and we're gonna go around and just barely knock off the, the roughness. Okay guys, this is what it looks like finished up and everything. I think it turned out good. There's my shadow getting in the way here. I think it'd show up better outside here than it would inside the house and everything. I end up liking this so much that I made it another one a little bit different. Not the wings like on it. So, let me get you a closer up view of it. Here's the one that's shaped like the wings. If you can see it in the video and everything, I give it this textured look. It takes a little bit longer to carve it and everything, but I think it gives it more character. Um, you know, I mean, and you got the letters standing out. And if you've noticed my video, I stain this thing first, even sprayed a coat, a clear coat over, then carved it. And then afterwards, I sprayed another coat of clear over. You know, I had to do minimal sanding just a little bit, run the corners, run the lettering just a little bit, 
But uh, remember this is Alf White Pine. I think it turned out pretty good. Hope this gives somebody another idea of something they can make. There's a lot of people who've got man caves anymore. This will look good in my house. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.